Thoughtful face. The role of African Americans. While Lincoln is understandably the focal point of Lincoln, the movie ignores the role of free African Americans in the fight to end slavery. The film focuses on the relationship between the president and Congress, but critics have argued that the lack of African American representation in the story neglects the critical purpose of the 13th Amendment. For example, Frederick Douglass was a significant abolitionist who was a friend and critic of Lincoln that would speak candidly to him. Removing Douglass and Lincoln's relationship and discussions from the film seems to be a missed opportunity for historical representation and dramatic storytelling. Did you know? Thoughtful face, Iroquois tribal, Confederacy leader, Chief Canasatigo, helped influence tribal governments and political theories which played a part in developing the founders' political ideas and impacted the development of many provisions in the U.S. Constitution. In the 1860s, Washington, D.C., was a central fighting zone for free African Americans fighting to end slavery. Many historians believe African Americans' contributions to the capital's politics and economics profoundly influenced congressmen that voted to pass the 13th Amendment. Indians were not to be counted as state citizens, i.e., as part of a state's population, unless they paid taxes. In 1868, when the freed slaves were granted full citizenship rights through the 14th Amendment, Indians were again expressly excluded from state populations unless they paid taxes. These exclusions demonstrate that the founders and the Constitution recognized that Indians were citizens of their own separate nations. Most African Americans, BKA Indians, were not made United States citizens until 1924. Yet Lincoln's opening scene is the most audiences see of speaking truth to power. While African Americans' role in abolition was limited, their role was still crucial in their own liberation. Lincoln's neglect to show this is not a mistake but an artistic choice that ultimately dulls the cinematic impact of this historic moment. On the United States dollar, $50, $20, $10, $5, $1, which president was not a slave owner? Did you know? Face with monocle, Abraham Lincoln $5 dollar bill is the only one without the United States flag, USA. Did you know? Thoughtful face. As collectors of U.S. coins are well aware, in 1943 during World War II, the United States Mint struck zinc coated steel pennies to help conserve copper and tin needed for armaments for American troops fighting in Europe and Japan. Authorized by a 1942 law that temporarily changed the composition of Lincoln cents, in 1943 the mint struck over a billion of these steel cents that came to be known as steelies. These off-metal errors are by far the rarest of all Lincoln pennies. Widely publicized since the 1940s, these rare copper pennies immediately became the subject of attention from both collectors and the broader public, which led to decades of searching rolls of pennies looking for these rare coins that could be worth a fortune if real. Did you know? Thoughtful face. In the 1940s there were rumors that Henry Ford would reward the finder of a 1943 copper wheat cent with a brand new Ford car even though the company repeatedly denied there was any truth to this. How many were made? Face with monocle. It was only in the late 1950s that credible reports began to emerge of genuine 1943 copper pennies following many years of reports of fake copper-plated pieces, some from counterfeit dyes, that had circulated. 